Would you look at that? Max is swimming! So hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Four Simulator and we are here as Holly the Black Bear who is getting ready to have some bear cubs of her very own. And we found a mate last time and he's actually proving to be quite entertaining because whilst I was sitting here looking up more awesome animal facts to share with you and thinking about how he could jump into the water to chase down that little fish, Max jumped into the water himself and he's just having a good old swim and that just really cracks me up. So it seems like our wonderful day is an absolutely fantastic place to be. The Cave of Reflecting Waters, and this is Holly's home. Max is only a temporary visitor, and we do need to give him a tougher name still. I still have to look through you guys' name suggestions, because, I don't know, Max grows on me, but I have a feeling like he has some sort of name like Bloodthirsty Bear Master 9000, or something ridiculous like that, but everybody just calls him Max. So Max is enjoying a good swim, and Holly is uh, kind of staking out her den, because this is her den after all. Max is only visiting and then after we are able to have a bear cub, we will be having our bear baby and then Max will be banished. We will send him away just because that is how it works in the real world. Bears do not stay around in pair groups and like nurture each other or take care of each other. That's just not the way it works and we want to try, uh, you know, simulating the forest. Let's go ahead and feast upon some food. Why is the food so far away? Gosh darn it. Max is going to eat all of it before he even gets there. Look at him sit down. <laughs> Max, that's so cute. Do it again. I want to see you sit down again. Oh, he has a quest for us. The food just keeps appearing all over the den. That's so cool. So what's the quest? Dig up some bugs for a snack. Oh, uh, we can totally do that because actually uh, bug protein happens to be one of the great things that Holly can rely on to help her to become a little bit stronger as well as fish. Okay, we've got like a pet fish. I'm just going to have to accept that that particular fish. Oh no, Holly. Okay, there we go. I thought she was stuck forever. But that particular fish is really, really fast, this little cave fish, and we might just have to accept it as a pet fish. But Holly has a quest now, and that's to get four exoskeletons, or to dig up four bugs and eat them. You guys know her history with snails. Attack of the Snails! Version 3 is probably going to come up any day now. Uh, what's over here? Alright, there's a big old hawk, there's a turtle, there's a mouse... It's been quite the active morning right outside of our den. This is so cool to be able to come out and everything looks different. Are you eating this turtle? Is he dead? Is he dead or just sleeping? Do you want the turtle, Max? Max, don't pick a fight with a turtle if you can't win, okay? Just that this should be a good policy. Hey, hey, hawk. Are you trying to steal my turtle? This is my turtle. All right, let's go ahead and eat this before that hawk tries to steal it from us. But yeah, bug protein, especially ants and termites and things like that, actually make up a really important part of a black bear's diet and would help Holly out with getting the fat reserves. <gasps> honey! Yes, some more honey! With getting the fat she needs on her body before she can have her babies. A fat black bear is going to be able to have babies that survive. That's one of the most important indicators you can have of cub survival amongst black bears is how chunky, chubby, and successful the mom is at keeping, uh, keeping good weight on and having enough food. That's just another one of those laws of the wild. All right, let's go ahead and eat. Because a fat, happy mom means that there's going to be plenty of milk and she'll be able to have the energy she needs to take care of her little ones. No idea how she's going to get fat off of nibbling grass, but we won't question it. Look at Max. Max, why are you so hilarious? We'll go ahead and give you a little snuggle. No idea how black bears actually would court, so I don't know if they would snuggle, but let's wiggle this way. We want to find the lake today. That's one of my big goals. We're going to turn around over here and we're going to look for the waterfall. There's supposedly a waterfall where we can take our bears fishing. And fishing sounds like a great way to get that fat on Holly so she can have the healthy baby. I, I still kind of want to name the baby Barry, but maybe it'll be a little boy and I'll have to come up with a different kind of name. I mean, I guess they could name him Barry like B-A-R-R-Y then, but that's not the same. That's not quite what I was going for. All right, I see lots of fish. Let's have a few berries. Hey, hey, don't push, Max. You're just here. You're just here so we even can have babies. All right, let's see. And there's a big plateau over there. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Holly, you live next to a gorgeous spot. Oh my gosh. There's salmon. There's just salmon tumbling off of there. You guys, this is the coolest. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so in love with this. Okay, let's run over here. Look at all of them. Look at them. There's salmon running down the... the oh my gosh. This is the best ever. 
Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Holly, this is so cool. I am 100% in love with this idea. And then there's just salmon whipping on by. And we can try it. Look at him. Look at him try it. Oh my gosh, he's actually jumping. He's actually jumping. I can't even... That's so cool. And there's more coming. And there's a current this time. Look at us. We can just perch ourselves here and get fat off of fish. Oh, we got him. We got him. Did I get them both? Okay, I, I killed them, but I need to... No, come back. You're mine. <gasps> That's so cool. Holly, look at you. This is amazing. I love this. Okay, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in one of the ultimates. I have to say, this is awesome. I really like being a bear right now. Look at all of them. They're just zipping past me. Okay, here comes another one. You guys ready? A day of fishing as a black bear. And apparently we just earned an achievement too. No, come back, food. You're my food. Come back. No dead fish. You're my dead fish. All right, did I get him? Nope. Nope. Oh, no. I wasn't I wasn't clicking the right thing. Sorry, guys. I was so distracted. Look at all these fish. This is just a plethora of delicious food. I can get all the food I want here. This is so cool. So do you, are you guys familiar with what's going on here? This is what you would call a salmon spawn. And this does happen in real life where the salmon will try to swim their way up rivers in order to go back to where they were born. And why do they do that? Because that's where they're going to go lay their eggs. And it's a really amazing natural phenomenon. If you guys have not seen the salmon spawning in rivers, it's definitely worth looking up some video of just because it's so interesting to see hundreds and hundreds of fish push against the current and work oh so hard to try to wiggle their way back upstream so that they can go and have their babies there. And one of the interesting things that happen when salmon spawn is that they actually die after they release their eggs and other gametes and make little salmon babies. They actually do pass away. And so it creates this huge source of fantastic food for your big predators. You'll often end up with tons of bears just gorging themselves on the food that can be found, just like our Holly is actually doing, so that she can have lots and lots of food. We will be able to come over here and collect up all of these fish to be able to make a big pile and feed the cubs when we have cubs. This is awesome. There's another waterfall over here. Here comes another fish. Oh my gosh, Holly. This is like the most ideal life for a bear. We can just make a pile of fish right here. We don't even have to go anywhere. This is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and eat these fish and then we're going to go ahead and eat this fish. Holly is leveling up. She is becoming a true master at this. We're gonna dig in our little spot. Is there anything? I don't think anything popped up from there. Maybe? Am I being attacked by snails again? Or maybe, maybe earthworms? I think I'm, I'm being attacked by earthworms. Yeah, I'm being attacked by earthworms. <laughs> Why does that crack me up so much? It should defy every ounce of logic. If you guys live where there's attack earthworms, let me know, because I sure don't live anywhere there's attack earthworms. In fact, now that I think about it, ever since I moved to Michigan, I've not really seen any earthworms. They were all over the place when it would rain uh, in North Carolina, but not so much here. <gasps> and I saw a puma. Okay, so there's a cougar in the distance. When we play as a cougar, this will probably also be a fantastic spot to come and bring our cougars so that they can level up. They can eat all of these fish as well. All of the predators, the birds, the hawks, everybody who could eat fish is going to be so happy to be over here when the salmon are spawning. It is a time where you just get enough food to go around if you're a predator. Kind of a not so great time if you're actually a salmon because kind of the end of your life. Look, there's a swimming bear. Did you see it? It just appeared in the fog for half a second. The legend of the swimming bear. Oh my goodness. And there's some honey. Here's some more things to nibble. It sounds like we need to watch out because there are some wolves in the distance, but that is really, really cool. So I wasn't expecting to have such an amazing spot and so close to home too. Now Holly's got a belly full of fish and we can come over. We're eating some grass and some honey to kind of complement that. There's some berries over here and let's work our way back over to our den too. And we'll see if we can bring back some sort of food to the den. Because I would really love to drag in some food and leave it there. Because I think the food uh, that you bring back to your home den will actually turn into carcasses. Which sounds really nasty, but I kind of like the decorative touch of being able to sprinkle the bones about. So that was really awesome. Alright, dig, 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 dig. 
And there's some earthworms. We're gonna have our little attack earthworms. All right, there we go. Anybody coming for me? Nope, he was just a lone earthworm this time. We'll drop him and eat him. Oh, and there's a carcass right outside of our den. So let's go ahead and see what that is all about. There's a bunch of hawks kind of keeping an eye on it. And there's a little, there's like a little empty cul-de-sac area, a meadow right over here, that we might be able to bring some of our babies to kind of learn what it's like to be a bear. All right, okay, don't push so much, Max. Don't be rude. All right, let's go ahead. What's this? Is this a crab? Look at that! There's just a crab by our den, too. They must have been trying to go in. Oh, I forgot to take it inside. <laughs> I was so excited to have more food that I forgot to take it inside. Holly, you gotta, you gotta be willing to, you know, bring things in between eating them. All right, let's have her go back into our den. It would be very interesting if every now and then you had another creature like you, like another bear, come and try to claim your den and you had to defend your den. Let them know you weren't going to let them walk all over you. All right, there. All right. Good job, Holly. Okay, so she's still fully rested. She's at level 11 now. I'm going to add more vitality to her because I feel like she's putting on the weight. She's really getting a lot more stamina, a lot more strength because she's getting fatter and she'll be able to take good care of the babies. Max looks like he's stretching his paws over there. I'm going to increase the duration of her abilities. I'm going to locate nearest enemy. Maybe. We'll just say that her hearing is going up because she's got a lot going on. Um... Yeah, I think we'll do that because she's got a lot going on in the, the world and she's learning how to be a good a good black bear. <gasps> and we've unlocked the cougar. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, we'll have to have Holly have her baby and raise her baby. And then after she raises her baby, we've got a lot of other things to, to try to focus on becoming. There's so many different animals we get to play as. All right, so the last thing I want to do today is see if Holly can finish her little exoskeleton quest and nibbling, you know, you know, she's a, she's an expectant mother and she's gonna be nibbling some of those exoskeletons just to bring in some of the health. Ooh, maybe we can get some down feathers to put into our den. Come here, duck, come here. All right, got the duck and I'm gonna pick it up. Come on, okay, yeah, you, I got it, I got it, all right. All right, so I've got the duck and I'm gonna see if I can go inside. I'm gonna see what happens if I can bring it into my den like so. And I'm not sure if this will do anything or if it'll just disappear later. But let's go ahead and just drop it in here. Last time when I left some like dead animals inside uh, the ultimate cat simulator, it ended up making some really cool carcasses. So I wonder if I can just start filling our den with cool carcasses because that would be kind of interesting. That sounds like a bear's decorative touch at least. All right, so I think that's about everything. I'm not sure how much further Holly is going to need to work before she's able to have her baby, but it does make sense that it would take us a little while because black bears only have babies once every two years. So they do not have babies every single year. They only have uh, their cubs once every two years, and that, that goat just, or that sheep just totally got away from us by running straight up a cliff. Curses. So they only have babies once every two years because it takes about anywhere from 12 to 18 months, if I remember what I read correctly, before the little cubs are ready to go off on their own. There's a lot of investment that goes into raising a baby bear cub, I learned. All right, are we, do we have any snails? We have ants, oh my gosh. They're so tiny. Do they count for my, my special thing? Are they gonna come attack me because I ate one of them? Oh, it looks like they're coming for it. I see the tiny little black speck. You guys don't even see anything. Just suddenly, something is biting Holly. And it turned out to be an ant. So let's see. We'll finish that. Is she almost done? <gasps> she did it! All right, let's go back to the den. And then we can let Max know, hey, we're taking care of ourselves. We ate tons of ants. And there's tons of food. We don't have to struggle nearly as much as we did when we were a stray cat in Ultimate Cat Simulator to find all the food we need. So let's come on in. We're gonna leave our duck over there and see if it's still there when we come back later. And can we let Max know? Yeah, all right. And we finished our quest, fantastic. Well, we'll let him uh, We'll let him kind of stick around a little bit longer. I think Holly has to get to level 15 and then she'll be able to have her bear cub. But there's definitely more of the world to explore. We have barely started. Oh, gee, I get it. Barely, barely. We have barely started exploring. And I think there may even be a den next to the waterfall that we were up at. So we might go check that out and see what that's all about. And maybe poke around here a little bit. There's lots and lots of different places we're going to need to kind of explore. I'm super excited to do that too. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.